Hello everyone and welcome. It is your pal, the John Bacon, doing some video on demand of the reason why my voice is absolutely destroyed. I have been grinding in Black Ops 4 in the blackout mode, loving every minute of it, trying to get the high kill game uh, that's a winner. I want to go ahead and reference right now, this is a win. Is my first solos win. I've had three quad wins prior, and that was all on launch day with my friend uh, Desai1392. Check him out. But 87 people at the start of the game at drop. Uh, so pretty high number of people for blackout. Let's go ahead and tune into what happens, all right? So we're in the chopper. We're dropping. This game, I want to go ahead and just clarify, this is my game mode or my playstyle strategy of what I call Deathstalker. So I have a very deliberate way in which I play, so I'm dropping. I actually, this is a random drop point. I just grabbed a spot. This place is infested with people, right? I know that they're all around, so I'm going to the far back edge and uh, grabbing this fitty cow and the Cordite. Uh, since this is archive footage, certain things don't show up correctly, which is kind of goofy. But that's okay, that's just the way that it goes. Like, the loot on the ground is still there, as you can tell, even though the 3x scope and the 50 cal machine gun is right here. So I'm running up the hill trying to get a better vantage point, because I clearly know things are going to be popping. Okay, we got a shadow man right there. So we put in, try to put some shots on him with the 50. This gun's not designed for it, but we still want to register damage. We want to pressure him, get in the head, but we still want to be at high elevation, not easily shot. So higher elevation equals the ability to take things down. I'm opening the window up so that I have an easier time hitting him with my optics. So I'm not exactly sure where he's at. I saw him at the corner of my eye. Garage door opens. Okay. I'm ready to line up the shot. I pop him. Okay. I've already cleared out everything from that garage, so that's not necessarily a threat. He's going to rotate to the my right. I'm going to pull out my Cordite so that I can suppress with less recoil. So I see him go in the distance. I put more pressure on him, right? I want him to know where I'm at. I'm not going to go in this thing. I'm going to rotate all the way to the right. All the way to the right. Specifically so that I can lay down the hurt. Okay, first elimination. That's what I'm talking about, kids. We're going to go ahead and do a quick loop. Jump through his bag. Grab the things that I need. Going to quickly speed up here. Um, I got dead silence turned on because there's other people around. I definitely can hear other people around in the area and I want to be smart. So I've still got the Cordite uh, running up and down this hill. So I know there's people around. I'm hunting right now. This is a part of what I call the Death Stalker methodology or strategy. I'm staying high up if I'm not in cover and I'm scoping the area out trying to find easy targets to pick off so that I can go through their death stash to get their good items and continually build myself up. So I've got um, not great armor. It's a little damaged as we can see. So I'm up and down this hill trying to find an optimal position for somebody to kill to take their good gear. So I'm running the edge of the circle and that's core to this, this play style. Being on the edge of the circle because people are becoming into this circle area. So eventually the circle's gonna come in, you know, actively loot. Windows open, that's a little bit concerning. So this area's been hit once before. I'm still a little bit outside. So evidence of loot's happening, but things not being picked up. That was shotgun ammo. Here's an ATV. So I'm gonna use the ATV for better mobility and also to draw people out. So I want, I want people to know that I'm there, but be in a proper situation that I can still fight them pretty well. So we added a 2x scope to the Cordite. We got a trauma kit here. That's good. Some ammo, a trophy system, another SMG, the MX-9. I don't really want it. We hear shots to the left side. Listening, looking. We found a suppressor. We're going to put that on the Cordite because we can't put it on the 50 cal. And we're going to trade up the armor for fully good-to-go armor. Okay, so we got a guy in a truck right there. We're not going to open fire because he's got the high ground currently. And he's in the truck. But he's out of the truck now. Okay, he's trying to come into the circle. He's trying to use my same strategy. 
So we're just gonna stay aware of where his position is. Okay, we're getting shot at. Time to stay in the cover. Time to stay in cover. We're getting shot at, stay in cover, try to trade shots. We have the circle pushing them towards me, so I'm in the optimal position. I don't have to open myself up. So it sounds like there's something going on to the left side. Definitely left side. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Shut the door. Grab the health that I need eventually. Got a guy behind this door? Okay, that's where this guy is. The door is bulletproof. We're gonna pop him and spray. That's the point of the cordite. You just hold down the trigger and let the ammo eat. It holds 60 rounds. Go ahead and let it eat. We're gonna do a quick grab of gear. Heal up with a trauma kit. I just got nine banged. So he nine banged me in this, sorry, in that window. He's gonna try to push around the other side to throw me off kilter. Okay, it's all about the balance, the rotates. So I know what he's gonna do. I jumped up to see where he's at. I went ahead and threw a grenade to pressure him back the other side. So I ran away, so he thinks that he can get into the window. I'm trying to trade, I'm trying to trade comfort and trade pressure. Okay, we got a grenade. Get out of there. That's why they left the door open. Now I'm gonna fully rotate around. And I literally shot his gun right there. The only reason why I survived was I had the trauma kit. Uh, sometimes those game time decisions of burning the trauma kit are key. Absolutely key. So we picked up a vapor. We dropped the cordite, or sorry, the 50 for the for the vapor. We uh, put a 3x scope on there, and we're just attaching everything that we can. Okay, we got full ammo, we got full reload. We're gonna go ahead and use this busted up four-wheeler because we're so deep behind the circle. So we're at three kills currently. Two kills happened at that shed. Um, still had the cordite, I used that for suppression. We added a red dot to that. And so essentially I just switched the optics back and forth. So vapor has a 2x scope, cordite has the red dot. So we're going through check in for things we know the circles coming in so i want to get into an optimal position i'm swimming around i hear shots to the left sounds like the bridge so what i'm going to do is take this area right here that's probably not currently held up in because it's not really a good idea to be held up here since you're not inside the circle uh so what i'm allowed what i'm able to do in this situation is grab ammo grab loot and kind of get a good idea before i push into the inbound area i'm using that circle as one, a level of protection, but two, assurance. I know there's nobody behind me, and if they are behind me, it's very likely they're hurt. So now what I'm gonna do is put down some damage from outside the circle. He's dead, so that's f kill number four. Okay, that trauma pack that I just put on, or trauma kit, so I'm shooting from behind. I drop in the water for cover. <coughs> Shooting at me from behind. I'm going to continue to go underneath the water for cover, up and down, trying to get around. So I do have cluster bombs. That's a good one. Try to get in cover here. I got somebody. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to grab cover, but that guy's right there. We're going to go ahead and try to take him down. He's in the corn. At least it looked like he was. Nope. We're going to take him down immediately. So that's kill number five. That guy went that way. So it's imperative that I stay, as I'm over here, I slide to stay down so I don't get shot. I still have a copious amount of health, which is key. Copious amount of health is key. Uh, and the ability to heal myself frequently is good. So we're updating things. I picked up the K, uh, the KN, the AK variant, basically. And I'm kidding up the K, the KN57, uh, very similar to the Vapor. Uh, Vapor is a good rifle, very similar to the ICR-7 but it has a higher rate of fire. Uh, the KN, I mean your classic AK, high damage, high power, grabbing that armor, uh, looting up. I put on awareness, that way I can tell where the people are at around me. At five kills currently. We're trying to use that awareness. Her, uh oh. I think I froze the game. There, we're back. Excellent, okay. So I hope that there's not a lot of reverb that comes to the microphone. So what we have a situation of is that we're going up the hill, right? So five kills. We just left the little shed. Oh, we have the vapor. Or vapor. Whew. 
had me scratching. Sorry about that workaround, guys. I'm happy that you're able to stick through. So we hear shots. Got five kills, 12 left now. So we're looking around. We're low. We're low. We have awareness on we're listening around to where things could be at. Not entirely sure where. Um, checking the filling station. We're going to lay down the shadow of the tree. The shadows really do a good job of hiding your character, especially if your character doesn't have anything on their face. Like um, the one character I have unlocked, he has the goggles. Uh, Don't use that. It's really easy Jones to pick out headshots. Also, Shadow Man and his like wide-brimmed hat, I pick off headshots on that all day. So definitely careful with that. So we're looking around, trying to get to the high ground with Deathstalker strategy, as I call it. Trying to get to the top of this hill. Um, that way, whatever people, places, things are around us, we can take care of business. Uh, I've got a cluster bomb. That's going to be helpful. I've got a tomahawk and a, a grapple. Uh, so big thing here. Let me pause the game to break this down. You saw the four-wheeler up here, right? You saw the four-wheeler? That's indicative, especially lights are on somebody's nearby. That's why I started going towards it, but stayed down low. I didn't run at it. And then we saw the guy uh, moving around. So we're going to stick with the strategy. We're going to go left so that I have an same easier right. time so grabbing him. We're not going to open fire until we're nice and close. Remember, I'm crouched right now, so he can't necessarily hear me unless he has awareness on. There he is, the rock. Optimal placement. I can take him down a lot easier with just holding that gun and overkilling, as I call it. Just holding the trigger down until they're dead and falling down. He's got a vapor. He's got an ICR-7. I'm, for once, not going to pick that up. I love that gun. I'm going to leave it. Um, I equip the foregrips. I equip foregrips, grips, any sort of accessory or attachment. I put that shit on. I need my guns to work like, whoa. I go ahead and decide to drop the remainder of my health because that sensor dart is mandatory. I've got to know where we're at. We have eight people left. I've got six kills. There's a strong possibility your boy could be picking this win up. I jump out of bounds to grab the ATV to create noise, to draw people towards me. Then I'm going to dump the ATV and get into a good position so that anybody that's looking for me, trying to utilize the same thing I was doing, is um, not exactly going to know where I'm at, but it's still going to draw people in. I go ahead and quit the uh, med kit because it's 50 health points whenever I take a shot. I'm planning on getting shot. That's that's what's going on. I, to myself, I'm like, bro, you're gonna get shot. Go ahead and have the health ready. I'm dropping all the other attachments because I quickly realize I do not have the applicable gadgets that I need. I want a concussion grenade. I want a nine bang. Something that whenever it's me and the final guy, I can stun put in work and make him look stupid. That's where the Deathstalker methodology completely changes. So we try to get to the final two with Deathstalker. So we got six kills, seven people left, still just stalking through, looking for people, ready for that overkill attack. So I hold down the auto fire straight on them, finish them off until they're dead in the ground. Now, my gun still may be firing. So I'm looking around, checking the shadows, following that circle. Like I said, that circle is my source of security. It's pushing people towards where we need to go. And I'm using the optics that I have, that magnification, to get a good understanding of where people are. We have six people left. I'm moving to the higher ground again. I have 38 seconds before I have to be to that circle. I don't have to move that far. So the purpose right now is to get up nice and high, to put myself in a situation where I can shoot down at people because it's a lot harder for them to hit me. Bumbled a little bit on that fence. That's bad this stage of the game. I've got my gun out and ready because I want to hit people hard. I have the KN out because it's 762. It's going to hit a little bit harder than that Vapor will. Plus it's suppressed. Um, so I don't want other people around me knowing that when I drop people. So I've got five people left. That means four people left to kill. Let's see how many more I can get killed. So we're going nice and quiet. We don't have any equipment per or like no perks activated. We still have the cluster bomb ready to go. We're listening. We're looking, trying to get a nice field of view going on as far as what people are where. Trying to pick up on movement. Now we're down to four people. Using those optics to quickly peek and check. We have a supply box here. This supply box could be very big. 
but it could also draw in others. So we're not gonna head for it dead on necessarily. We're gonna go ahead and check it out and make sure everything's fine. The circle is behind me. I'm in the, 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 the circle here. So the storm's coming in. I'm in the proper circle. Storm's bringing people forward. I still have that sense of security. I'm gonna be able to hear if somebody's coming from behind me. I'm in a shadow, so it's a lot easier to hide. So we see somebody moving. We're not gonna take the shot yet. We wanna make sure that we're in an optimal position to get that kill. Like I said, four people left. We're gonna do a nice long belly crawl. We're right within that circle. He's trying to utilize Deathstalker. Since I know what he's trying to do, I'm gonna push him. I'm gonna try to do my strategy. We're basically trying to use the same strategy, but I'm smarter. I'm more calm right now. I'm gonna push and apply pressure. Get to safety. So now I rush because I'm pretty close, but I'm not sprinting and I drop him. I overkill. That final kill marker, I was still shooting. So I'm gonna pick up health. And I'm gonna pick up the fast magazine, the cluster, the nine bomb, or so the nine, nine bang. Um, and anything else that I can use. So we have three people left. Myself and one other, or two others. So that's seven kills so far. So what I'm doing right now is I'm in the final circle. I'm just observing where people are. <clears throat> it's highly unlikely that somebody's right on top of me or right below this hill or on the other side of that tree. It is possible. So what I'm going to try to do is to stay in an optimal position with the storm keeping me safe and knowing that anywhere else could be somebody. I'm not scoping necessarily yet. I'm just trying to get a good field of view and look for movement, even small movements. And when I see that movement, I'm not necessarily going to engage. I'm in cover because I'm down. I'm not detected. As soon as I'm detected, yeah, we'll throw a grenade, we'll do whatever. But right now it is absolutely vital that I go ahead and stay in cover. And this is what I call fishing. So I'm throwing out the, uh, the sensor dart and the grenades. I'm pushing people. The whole point of that was to throw the grenades, make noise, get people worried, so the sensor dart out so I can see people on the map. I saw him, I put shots. I put the pressure on, he goes over the hill. That's fine. I can move closer, stay in cover. He doesn't know exactly where I'm at. Did you hear that? There were shots. So the final two are right over here where I'm looking at currently. We still stay in cover. One of those two are gonna kill each other. Or they both, both may kill each other and I win. So we hear sniper shots, we don't get it sniped. That guy just died. Okay, so we have the nine bang. We cook the nine bang and throw it. We cook the nine bang again and throw it again to preserve it. There's my boy. We finish him off. We get the victory. Death Stalker engaged. I am yelling and screaming. I nearly flipped the table myself. Didn't throw the controller in excitement, but that is why my voice is gone. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, technique and strategy called Death Stalker. This is my first solo win. Um, it's a good strategy for people that are new to Battle Royale or people that are just more tactically focused um if you know you're not necessarily always great with your hand-eye coordination like me like I, I have good games and bad games this strategy will take you to a win as long as you overkill people um and just basically are able to get that recoil under control and engage at distance that you're comfortable with you don't need to have a sniper battle necessarily yes sniper battles are fun um but i uh, really enjoyed this game i'm really happy to share it with you uh, eight kills, so I killed approximately 9% uh, of the game. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, uh, comment, and share. As always, it's your boy, the John Bacon. Have a good one, guys. It's Bacon's been sizzling. We'll catch you in the next one.